The funniest thing happened not too long ago. Ngoc Rong posted a survey on if it's a good idea on whether or not to remove gold trading from the server. I'm going to pull up a screenshot right now. So this survey was up for about 12 minutes before an overwhelming majority of people said disagree. And because of how 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 in touch the admins are with the game, they said, screw the survey, we're just going to remove it anyways. Hopefully I mentioned this in the title that they're removing gold trade and then parentheses server 12. This only affects server 12. But the thing is, if there wasn't a huge amount of backlash, they would have taken it off for other servers as well. There's no there's no questioning that. Mangak Rong's practices have been anti-mod, but these practices that they do only only serve to help modders because the only people that are going to be able to accumulate gold are modders the only way to combat people that like hack and shit like that is is literally a community and it used to be that case way back in the day but ever since they started doing these practices th there's there's a cycle going on now where they tried to change they manipulate the game to curb modders but the only people that benefit are modders. So looking at the NGAC Wrong Online forums, pretty much a lot of Vietnamese players have the exact same. The exact same, what's the word? They have the exact same notions that we do where the game used to be fun, but now modders are taking over. Uh, let's see. Like, even this guy says, you know, we should change the event so that they don't overlap. Yeah, like, every year, the event is the same and not very fun. Dude, even in... So, this guy is in the One Star server, which was the very first Vietnamese server. And they... One Star server pretty much gets the same treatment that we do. Except they have fucking beers tournament and shit like that. They have, like, actual cool shit. But even these guys say... There are so few players playing the game now. Everyone is farming. I only see bots, which is boring. Dude. One of the biggest issues is that genuine. The only servers that the admins give love to are the newer servers. So literally server 11 and now server 12, which depending on how you, you see the issue, it may not be server 12 because they're removing gold trading. But, oh, yeah, even here, apparently a lot of Vietnamese players had a lot of issues with the permanent rates. For the last event, you could, there were people that topped up $500, literally BCBO put in a, almost like a band or half a band or some shit like that, something in that ballpark, and did not get a singular permanent item. And that shit, it was just a, it was a slap in the face, bro. But like, I mean, that's just how TMO by good does it, man, which is, which sucks. But, oh, excuse me. But yeah, that covers that. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, Let's actually, I don't think I looked at this a little, I don't think I looked at this more than like 10 seconds. So the, the craziest part is they thought that people would be on board with this. Like, so they even posted a goddamn survey asking people if they could lock the gold trading function in the game. And then asking players if they could buy gold with gems. <laughs> Which is actually crazy. The thing is, the funniest part is, if players can see that shit with the naked eye, like, you can tell when people are botting with, you, 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 with your eyes. If you can see it with your freaking face, if you can see it in plain sight, it isn't hard to detect it in game. The game already has a lot of functions to detect if somebody is abnormally using Dragon Boy, right? Or if, if anyone's playing DBO in with mods, right? There's already systems in place. So why not if... Why not if... Like... 
the system detects a modder for x amount of times like you can like if they have multiple infractions within a given time period why not have somebody check how their their account is doing and then ban them or something like that like they want to curb modders but they don't want to do anything about it and then they just want to put it on the rest of the community to kind of just figure it out which sucks but yeah that's about it see ya